We start our bike tour again at the Ketha Kolwitz Bridge. This time we drive on the east side of the Spray upstream, so towards south of Cottbus. Then you get to the boat pier with the ice cream parlor and we have to descend for the first time because in the area of the ice cream cafe cycling is not allowed. Although we are still in the area of the city center, we drive along the green of the river, crossing the road only from time to time until we clear the planetarium, a remarkable typical building of the modern GDR. Right behind us awaits a sporting obstacle in which we not only have to descend but also carry the bicycles. Behind the railway line is the Stadium of Friendship where Energy Cottbus plays its football games. We pass through the park to the Stadtring or the City Ring. If you do not want to carry your bike over the bridge, you can ride along Willy Brandt Strasse from the Planetarium. Beyond the city ring, we are already in the so-called Four Park, once over the Pyramiden Strasse, and then we are already descending because in the Branitzer Park, cycling is only allowed on individual paths. We can expect a beautiful walk through this English-style landscape park, which was created by the famous Count Pyukler in the 19th century. The landmark of the park are the pyramids. For us, who come from the center of Cottbus, come first to the Lake Pyramid, also called Tumulus, which Count Pukla staged as his last resting place. Afterwards, our path leads past the Land Pyramid and takes us to the Malarwinkel, where you have a great view of the palace over the lake. The Branitzer Park, one of the most important sites of Cottbus, is undoubtedly worth a visit. If you don't want to ride a bike, you can reach the park from the city center in about 30 minutes on foot or take bus number 10 from Cottbus Stadt Promenade. If you only drive up to the four park instead of the palace, you save the cumbersome bus ride through the residential areas and after a nice walk through the park, you can make the way back from the stop tier park which in turn saves our bus ride through the village of Pranitz. At the many entrances of the park, plans are drawn up, which give an overview of the park and the opportunities it offers. We continue onwards, leaving the park for the village of Pranitz, and if you ride into the forest at the small chapel, you first cross the Pioneer railway line and then reach the Spree. After crossing the Spree at the Kikabusha Weir, we reach a small bridge with the meaningful name Millennium Bridge. We then come to the Volkspark Madlower Schluchten, a hilly area in the forest. However, the differences in height that you have to overcome as a cyclist are quite common. This is an advantage of the largely flat Lower Lusatia. And already we are at the Madlower Zee, a popular bathing lake that is accessible from the center of Cottbus. After that, the trail runs along the spray, sometimes directly along the river bank. But every now and then, our route deviates from the river and so you have to be careful to find the right branches, curves and paths. The highway runs south of Cottbus and cuts off many small paths. It is best to drive directly along the water below it. We approach the Kutzerburger Müller a horse riding stable with many different animals. Some of them also use the bike path with us, but luckily they are friendly. At the Kutzerburger Müller, there is a snack bar with a small beer garden where we can take a rest stop. If the weather suits, it really is a very idyllic place which can be reached from the city center on a direct way in half an hour by bike. Wei bids us farewell because she has an appointment. We continue southwards and want to drive to the east side of the reservoir. Also on the west side of the lake, there are many leisure activities which we will visit another time. 
Again, you have to be careful because there are many diversions. Our route leads via Neuhausen and Frauendorf to Bresenschen. In doing so, we come across a path that is not marked in the map or in Google Maps. If you are on your way to Lake Spremberg, you should have a map or offline maps with you. Although the route runs along the river, there are several worthwhile path options. If you have reached Bresenschen, you are almost at your destination because behind this small idyllic village is the dam of the Spremberg Reservoir. The wall is very long but relatively low. On the dike, we ride the last meters and then we reach the lake on its eastern side in the area of the campsite's Spray Camp Buggins. The Spremberg Reservoir was built in the 1950s to avoid flooding in the Spreewald. Today, it helps in the dry summer months to stabilize the level of the spray, which leads to low water levels in the lake. Because of the soft sand at the beach, we should descend and push our bicycles for one last time. We now sit calmly at the beach and end our amazing trip. 30 kilometers of cycling was enough for us. We went home by train. From Bargains to Cordoba Central Station, it takes only 12 minutes.